Anyway, uh, I, the fact of the matter is I do listen. My office is right next door to Jennifer's office. And she always leaves her door open, and I usually have my door open, so I've heard a lot of telephone, I've heard half of a lot of telephone conversations between Jennifer and Drew. And I want, I want to tell you, I know it's really been something, oh, by the way, I was going to tell you, I did make transcripts of those conversations. Wow. So, yeah, see me after the ceremony and we'll work out a deal. Anyway. No, uh, the fact of the matter is, and her talking to Drew, she's been very considerate and kind and so respectful, which is really remarkable. <laughs> you know, uh, a professor, uh, a great philosopher once said, if a man speaks in the forest and there is no woman there to hear him, is he still wrong? <laughs> So, Drew, I wanted to say, remember that time in the service today when you were asked, will you take this woman to be your wife? And you said, I do. Cherish that moment. Because that may be the last correct answer you ever hear. Yes. But I do want to say, because I'm a pastor, I have to have a spiritual blessing. By the way, this is non-alcoholic, in case you're wondering. <laughs> I want to give a spiritual blessing. I don't know whether Moses actually intended this to be used at, uh, at a wedding reception or not. But what I want to say is, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And may that be your life. God bless you guys. Let's lift our cup and let's... We honor here to Drew and Jennifer. God bless you guys. Yeah.